So I do have this part here that Joseph put together. One of the first kind of hidden tools we're going to talk about are stabilizing walls. So when generating support structures or when GrabCAD goes to do so, uh, it's kind of treating it as a pass fail. So it's, it's looking for the minimum printable self-supporting angle and wherever it fails that it's going to generate support. This part doesn't in any way fail that. It, everything is nice, everything's a, a sharp upward angle, so you don't necessarily need support here. But the key differentiation is this is a very tall part. This is a thin part. If you're working with materials that are a little softer, as you move up in Z, you're gonna have a tendency, so to speak, to wobble or tip or anything like that, especially if you're printing multiple copies of this. So stabilizer walls are a great way to say, you know what, I don't need support, but I need a little bit extra just to protect my part. And you can find that right here on the right-hand side under the stabilizer menu. In this menu, it's gonna ask what model do you want to select? I actually have two models here, one is hidden currently and I'm going to just pick my part. It's going to generate this plane where it thinks you want to create stabilizers from, and then think of the stabilizing structure as going from this plane down to the print plate. So I can drag and drop this anywhere vertically if I want to move it lower. And then the other thing it's going to do if you look closely is it's going to show me the cross sections of my part. So here it's marking it in white, and I can select any or all of these cross sections that appear to generate my stabilizing structure from. So I'm just gonna pick this one right here. It's going to ask me my start and end point. So I'm just going to move that just to the backside of the part. And then there it's already gener generated it. One thing to keep in mind is this is going to be created with model material. So you are gonna use a little bit more model material, but it's soft enough that you can just break it. And the other thing to keep in mind is you have a lot of different settings here. So you have your height at which the plane is generated. You have your number of contact points. So as you can see, I have four. If I just increase this to five, it's gonna place five different contact points. I can change the depth at which it contacts the part or creates the stabilizer. And I can also change the start height. So this one I haven't used a ton, but if I didn't want it to start at the bottom of the part, I could increase the start height. And that's actually going to, this part makes it a little hard to see, but it's going to start creating it further up. So you see this actual touch point is roughly two inches above the bill plate. <clears throat> so you have a lot of control over this. The other thing you can do is change your contact gap. And this one is really important for the removal of the structure, the contact penetration. So right now, the model material of the stabilizer is penetrating about five thousandth of an inch into the part. And so it's going to give you a little bit of surface nub. You can tweak this. Uh, but again, the more contact you have, the stronger the stabilizer is going to be and the better it's going to work. But then it's going to be harder to remove too little and you run the risk of, again, this falling over. The other thing I want to highlight is in my project tree on the left-hand side, you see the stabilizer is actually connected to my part now. So if I were to duplicate this, it would bring this along with it. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If you're creating stabilizers for your team, you're saving out this part, it's gonna be a part of that file now or a part of the print profile too. At any point, I can go back and edit this, or I can just generate another two. So if I click on my part again, add another, and then I see that it's giving me the same settings again, I can pick this cross section now, change my start position, and then now I have two stabilizers generated.